Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. Waltham educators have reached an agreement with the city on a contract ending a negotiation that's been going on since March. On November 21st, members of the Waltham Educators Association voted to ratify a new contract, which includes a 3.25 raise each year for the next three years and eight weeks of parental leave for all parents. In an interview, Ryan Hoy, co-president of the association, called it a great contract and credited the grassroots efforts of members. You can check out that full interview with Chris Gamble and our friend Jaden Wolfman on our YouTube channel. The master plan meeting that was scheduled for the 29th has been postponed and a new date has not been announced yet. This is the last of the series of meetings that the master plan committee announced back in September. According to a city announcement about the postponement, the purpose of this meeting is to go over the data and general input received from each ward's public input meeting. So it's not clear if this one allows for public input like the others, but we'll keep an eye out for more info on that and keep you posted. During this week's city council meeting, there was a special meeting to discuss the tax levy for this year. The 35% owner-occupied tax exemption was re-approved, which was presented in the meeting as a net decrease for a Waltham homeowner with an average home value of about $687,000. So we'll discuss it in more detail what that means on our debrief show. Also in this week's city council meeting, Councillor Harris mentioned that her proposal for a sidewalk safety ordinance is moving forward. That process will not include a public hearing, so if you have an opinion on it, you may want to email or call your councillors. The proposed ordinance would require property owners to remove snow from the sidewalks in front of their property. However, single-family and two-family homeowners would be exempt, meaning it would only apply to roughly half the city. In this week's meeting, Councilor Harris also introduced a resolution to look at humane ways to address the persistent rat problems in Waltham, which got a lot of support from the other councillors, and that was sent on to the Community and Economic Development Committee. So we'll also be talking about that in our debrief show, which was the next thing we'll post. Stay tuned, and thank you, everyone.